What's going on everyone? I am Matt Pendergriff. And I'm Kyle from Kaizen DIY Gym, and we have an exciting announcement for you. Now Kyle and I, we're gonna be going head to head on a build off. That's right, we've selected a unique piece of gym equipment and we'll each build our own version of it. We will then present each of our builds in separate videos that we'll be releasing on December 15th. And we'll give y'all an opportunity to vote on which design y'all like best via an Instagram poll set up by Garage Gym Experiment. The videos will be released on each of our YouTube channels, so make sure you're subscribed to both of us so you don't miss out. Now, as stated, voting will occur on Instagram. Therefore, you're going to want to follow all three of us as we will be releasing more details and teasers leading up to the build reveal. Matt and I might even take a few jabs at each other along the way. Hey, <laughs> jabs. More like haymakers. I'm going for a knockout here, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't make me laugh. We'll see you on December 15th. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so we can blow this thing out of the water. Let me tell you exactly what I think about that. Battling Kaizen? More like babysitting Kaizen! Boom! Boom! Ah, ah, boom! Here comes the pain, brother! Hey, I'm Kyle! Yeah! Hey, Cal, I'll see you on December 15th. What's going on, everyone? I am Matt Pendergraph, and today's video is going to be a special one for you, as today is the day that I'm finally going to be revealing my build. Now, hopefully, you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say build. However, if you don't, if you have not been following along, I challenged Cal from Kaizen DIY Gym to a build off. And uh, like a fool, he accepted. Now, as far as the terms for the build, everything was pretty straightforward. We decided on one unique piece of gym equipment that we were both interested in building. He crafted his in his style, I built mine and mine, and here we are presenting both the builds to y'all on YouTube and Instagram. Speaking of which, you're currently watching my build, just in case you didn't know that. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below down to his build, so make sure you check that out next, and please, Give us both a like. That's really gonna help boost this up. So with all that being said, the piece of equipment that we chose to build are the Havoc Adjustable Triads. Now that's enough yapping, let's start slapping that build together. Come on. Safety first. Wear a dust mask. Wear eye protection. Wear hearing protection. DIY projects are awesome but being safe is even more awesome. So as you could probably tell, I use plywood on the side panels of my build, mainly because it's strong and I have a lot of it on hand. It is what it is. As far as the handles and the weight posts though, I decided to take a little bit of a different approach. 
So as far as the assembly process goes, it honestly couldn't be any easier. As you saw in the previous clips, I countersunk my holes so that the bolts sit flush with the side panels rather than protrude outward. Not only does this look nicer in my opinion, it also prevents the bolt heads from dinging up against the weight plates. And then of course the bolts themselves, they're threaded into the handles, which is pretty much what holds the whole unit together. Me personally, I like to loosely assemble all the pieces as to ensure that everything lines up correctly. Then I'll go back with an Allen key socket and tighten everything up. Once the bolts are tight, the unit is rock solid. During the brainstorming process, I initially thought about using pipe nipples for my handles. That is right, I said nipples. But then it dawned on me. I have plenty of these rotate and pull up handles in my possession. And I was like, dude, it would be silly for me not to use these. I can use the bolts to hold them to my side panels. The handles themselves are already the perfect length and diameter. They're knurled, it's powder coated, it's solid steel, so it's plenty strong enough, and they're heavy. I mean, what more could you ask for? Moving on to the weight posts, I decided to go with one inch bolts so that my triads could accept one inch standard plates rather than two inch Olympic. I find that the standard plates are generally smaller, plus I've got plenty of them on hand, and, and, I can swap the bolt out for whatever length I want depending on the number of plates that I'm using. Now the reason I think that's so important is the fact that the adjustable triads are not designed like traditional adjustable dumbo handles. They don't have all that extra post sticking out the side just waiting to jab you in the heart. And then look at this extreme example. Boom, mile and a half on both sides. That is insane. Same weight, adjustable triad, or my version at least, nice and tidy. I mean, look at the difference. That is nuts. Okay, so the actual triads feature three different handles with each one being a thicker diameter than the one before it. Mine do not. However, I can use fat grips, I can use cone grips, there's so many different grips I can use. I can mix and match or I can just leave it as is. So if I'm doing like a, a two-handed exercise and I want the same diameter in each hand, it works out beautifully. So now that I've shown you my build and I've kind of walked you through the thought process as to why I made the choices that I made, I guess all there is left to do now is to test these bad boys out. Now, I'm not gonna physically test these, not that I can't. I just happen to have a buddy over here and he's willing to do all the work for me, so I'm gonna let him. Enjoy. everyone that is all i've got for y'all i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like button and remember go check out kaizen diy's video as i'm sure he's got a real treat for you as well until next time have a good one